Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for our main event. Five rounds of heavyweight action between George Foreman and Tommy Morrison. By way of Marshall, Big Joe. And his opponent across the ring with a record of 48 victories, including 42 knockouts and three losses from Gravett, Tommy, the Duke, Morrison. All right, fellas. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. They are scheduled for five. Round one underway. So many have said they're going to get right to business. Let's see if they go at it. Now he ties up there. Good defensive skill with the block by George Foreman. Well, a lot of people were looking for The big hook comes in right underneath the elbow. Solid. Right to the head, and right to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Well, not all knockdowns are created equal. I think the knockout victim here is actually pretty fine. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. You know, he went down, he got up right away. Now what he has to make sure it doesn't go past that flashpoint. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Foreman's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Tommy Morrison still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Foreman's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. <laughs> Foreman's feeling the effects now of that hook. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Oh, what a huge power punch. He's working the body. Good job on the two-punch combo by Tommy Morrison. Well-targeted left hand by George Foreman. Nice! Nice! A smart and resourceful uppercut by George Foreman. Stand it straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Listen, you're not working. You're not working. You're not working on anything. Listen, you need to mix your punches up. Throw more punches to the body.
real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after George Foreman is always dangerous, but right now George Foreman is in survival mode after getting run. I think Big George just needs to tie up. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five. Big George Foreman steadies himself, and that six foot four frame is back upright after the knockdown. Gets rid of that body shot. Cut by George Foreman. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Teddy's trying to punch his way out of this damage he's incurred, but that's not the answer. No, he's in a rainstorm. He needs an umbrella. And instead, he's running right out into the rain. Smart jab by George Foreman. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription. Finish with the heart. Foreman smacked up top. Tommy Morrison's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Halfway through this round, Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joey can't use his legs right now, so he wishes. And it's wow! Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Three, four, five, Morrison's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do or what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Not able to connect with the uppercut. George Foreman smashed by an uppercut. Foreman with a big uppercut. Your head. Oh! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Morrison's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. George Foreman's got to shore things up a bit there. That was a destructive counterpunch he got hit by. Headshot lands was a hook. Morrison's rushed by a huge uppercut. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. But interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. Come on, get up. That's an impactful right hand by George Foreman. Brings an uppercut that really does damage there. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. Foreman's blocking ability is doing well for him there. 
Everybody! Big uppercut right on the mark. Morris is trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. What a big shot from George Foreman. Right to the head with that right. Foreman crushes home a left. Big shot. How about that power shot? And how about the reverb that's going about a county away with Big George hitting the canvas? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Morrison's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. over fight is over morrison's night has ended early here unable to go the distance he couldn't rise up and beat the count ladies and gentlemen by knockout your winner big george Foster. Sometimes that's all it takes, Teddy. Just one good shot can...